Hey guys, welcome back to Brandy Sheree TV. My name is Brandy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top five travel must-haves luxury edition. So if you guys are interested in seeing the little list that I curated, just keep on watching. So I will say right now, I know a lot of people are not traveling or some people are just getting comfortable with traveling and they're just going a couple different places here and there. Me, I do travel a lot for work. So if you guys are new to my channel or maybe you just don't know, I am a traveling respiratory therapist so your girl be on the front line saving lives all of that good stuff and I also travel a lot so every three six or nine months I am moving either to a different city a different state or most recently like coast to coast so I have to travel a lot and all of these pieces that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are pieces that I have used multiple different times on multiple different occasions so I really feel like I can vouch for these pieces and recommend them to you guys with like all honesty and everything I just know you're gonna love them I know you're gonna love these pieces also none of these pieces are like hacks these are all pieces that you normally bring with you when you're traveling just luxury edition so let's get into the first piece the first piece is probably going to be the most important piece that you need when you're traveling and that is a wallet but more specifically a car holder so me, when I'm traveling on vacation specifically, I do not like to bring my everyday wallet. She and my receipts that's in her and my wax punch card and my TJ Maxx gift cards, they all stay at home and I just transfer the specific cards that I need while on vacation into a card holder. And for that card holder, I'm gonna be showing you guys my Gucci Marmont card holder in the color black. She has five card slots, two in the front, two in the back, and one that you can use in the middle. I, first of all, love this design. It's very cute, very chic, very to the point. It doesn't scream like I'm a Gucci car holder. It is just very cute, very low key design, which I really love. And it is a nice black leather. The leather is soft, but it's still that leather where unless you're clawing through your bag or you have something ridiculously sharp in your bag, it will not scratch this. I have had this for about two years now and it still looks really good. Um, it has a couple frayed threads, but I mean, after it being beat up in my bag the way it was, it's to be expected, but the corners still look really nice. Like it's minimum to no um, scratches or flaws on this piece. And I really love this piece. I also love having a car holder when I'm on vacation because I'm very much a tiny to small bag girl. Like I do not carry a big bag on vacation. So I need like a nice small car holder to go inside all of my bags or go inside, you know, my boyfriend's pocket. <laughs> if you, if I don't have anything and I want him to carry it, it's just so easy to just put in your pocket or put in your bag and just go. Love this piece, super cute, super compact, more than enough room for me, especially when I'm going on vacation. And yes, definitely would recommend you guys picking this up. And that is number one on my luxury must have. So the second piece that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is just as important as your wallet, depending on where you're going. And that is a passport holder. Before I got a passport holder, I thought they were just like very much unneeded, like waste of money. Why do I need a passport holder? I'm just gonna put it in my bag. My passport went through the ringer in my bag. It would always fall to the bottom of my bag. I would pick it up, it would be all bent. It just, it was a lot going on. So when I finally got a piece to use as a passport holder, I just felt like I was just a little bit more put together at the airport. So the piece that I like to use as a passport holder is my Kirigami pouch, the medium size. First of all, let's get into the monogram print with this red interior lining. Cause we usually see this with the diamond hair band. I, first of all, just love that off rip. When I seen that, I was like, ooh, I like that Louis Vuitton. Y'all should, y'all should keep this up. <laughs> but yes, I love using this as a passport holder because it is just so easy and functional to get in and out of. I mean, it's easy to pop it out, easy to put it back in and secure it and put it in your bag. I know like when I'm going through TSA or immigration or whatever, sometimes I feel a little rushed or sometimes I just feel like I just don't have everything together. But with this piece, I mean, it's so easy to access your passport. You can also put two in here. So say if you were traveling with um, your spouse or you're traveling with a child, you can also put their passport in here and their boarding pass 
just so you can have all of your things together and go like that. I mean, this piece is just, I love this piece. I love the Kirigami pouch set, period, in general when traveling because it comes with three different pouches. So this is the medium size. It comes with a little smaller one and a larger one that you can use as a clutch. Um, and they're just really good for when you're in a pinch of space. Like you can use the smaller one as a card holder that holds cash and coin because of the envelope style. It can um, hold cash and coin inside of it if you fold up the cash. And you can also use the larger one as a clutch, like I said, or with the bag conversion kit, you can actually transfer it into a bag that goes over your shoulder, which I think is really neat. But I'm not gonna lie, the one that gets the most use is definitely this middle one for this passport holder. Like I said, super functional, easy to get in and out of. And I definitely would recommend this piece as a passport holder if you're in the market for it. So the next piece that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is a toiletry item. You know, when we're traveling, we like to bring our own hair care, skincare, lotions, all of that good stuff. And we need a cute little place to put it in. And for that piece, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my holy grail, my one and only, it needs to be me. Oh my goodness. First of all, it was so hard to get this piece. I don't know if it's still hard now. When I got it um, last year, it was super hard to get. And I was so happy when my essay texted me, like, we have one in the store, do you want it? I was like, oh, yes, like, girl, swipe the card. <laughs> like. Yes, so I'm super excited to have it. I love this piece as a toiletry item because of the size. Like, baby, baby can fit it all. Like, she is big and mighty, but not too big where she is just overwhelming in size and she takes up a lot in your luggage. But say when you're traveling by air and you have to really consolidate and take everything in those little three and a half ounce um, containers, she can fit a lot. So I know a lot of people use this as just like a makeup carrier. Like they put literally every single thing in here with makeup. They can fill it to their brim and it, it fits it all. Me personally, I don't own a lot of makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup. So I use this primarily for like all of my toiletries. So like soap, lotion, hair care, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, cotton balls, cotton swab, like everything. I put this in here and I still have room to put like jewelry in here. So I will show you the inside, but yeah, I, like I said, I know people use it for makeup. If that's what you need it for, she can fit that too. But for my girls that don't really wear a lot of makeup and they're wondering like, can you fit other things in it? Like besides makeup, the answer is yes. I put soap in here, like bar soaps, two bar soaps in here in the container. I stack them up. I put makeup remover wipes in here. I'll put like my four or five pieces of makeup in here toothpaste, toothbrush, sunscreen, lotion, um, oils, hair care, everything, everything fits in here. So that's why I love her and she is my holy girl. I never get rid of her and I'll never switch up. So yes, this is the inside. It's a nice wipeable interior. So if you spill anything, no worries. She'll be all right, you wipe it up. <laughs> it has this nice long back pocket here. And then it also has two little pockets on this side and a zipper right here. And this is where sometimes I will put jewelry, like if I need to put like some anklets or something, I'll just put it down in here and just kind of keep it out the way of everything else. Just, you know, just so it doesn't get wet or anything. But yes, you guys, I love this piece. Fits a ton. I mean, I can't say enough about Denise BB. I remember when I was looking to purchase a toiletry item, I was really stuck between the Nice BB and the Nice Mini, but I ended up going for the Nice BB because of the size. So if you are traveling somewhere that's where you don't have to necessarily put all of your full size items into three um, fluid ounce containers, you can have that option of just putting the whole full size item in here, like full size lotion, full size shampoo, conditioner, things like that. So I really liked having that option. Just going anywhere where I don't need to consolidate, I have that option of still using the same bag. So yes, definitely recommend the Nice BB. She's definitely worth the hype. The only con I will say about this is the Vachetta leather. It's like Louis Vuitton. You knew that this was gonna be on a vanity, on a sink somewhere, and what comes out of a sink? What comes out of a sink, Louis Vuitton? Why would you put the lining all around it? But 
it was it was something I knew I thought about and I still told my essay swipe the card I needed bring her to me bring her to mama <laughs> so I love this piece like I said that's really the only con but really that's the name of the game if you can get over that definitely a must-have when I'm traveling holds a ton like I said and also super cheap so the fourth piece that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a personal item so you know when you're traveling you have your carry-on you have your personal item well I love to use a tote as my personal item I love that it can double as an actual handbag wherever I'm going and it also while traveling can be something that I can put like the pieces that didn't necessarily fit in my carry-on I could just put them in my tote so for that I'm going to be recommending my MCM tote my MCM Liz tote in the color black i absolutely love this piece she has been through a lot i have not baby this bag one bit not one bit and i feel like she still looks really 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 good now i will say i do have some scuffing here but it's like i deserve that i deserve that for what i put this bag through i love this bag when i'm traveling it's super durable super hard wearing i love that the straps are a little thicker so it doesn't feel like it's necessarily like digging in my shoulder if i do max it out and carry a bunch but it's just a little bit more comfortable i have uh, tried on a never fall before and with the leather straps you have to just constantly wear them down before they get soft this one it, it came soft like it came soft it feels really good on your shoulder say if you're not wearing like a, um, a jacket or anything it won't cut into your skin like the never fool does sometimes and yes i really love this piece and i also love that it comes with a little pouch so here is the pouch this pouch is actually a really decent size like I have honestly worn this pouch out so much by itself more than a tote because with the tote, I only take her when I'm traveling. This has gone to the club with me. She's gone to run errands with me, <laughs> all of that. And I love that this pouch is like a decent size. Like you can actually put stuff in it without it bulging out on the side and just kind of looking like you, you stuck things in there. Like you can actually use this as a pouch. And I love to wear it just like this or you can take the clip off and put it over here and just have it like a big wristlet. But yes, I love this tote. Definitely recommend getting this tote when you are traveling, hard wearing, like I said, and it's also reversible. So I've never worn it on this other side because it's just a cloth canvas, but this is the, um, this is what the other side will look like if you just turn it inside out. Um, but I really do love this other side because it's just so hard wearing. It's a nice like raised pebble leather look. And yes, I think it's really cute. I love taking this when traveling. She is my ride or die when I travel. Fits a ton, super cute, super functional when I get to wherever I am. And yes, that is my fourth piece of my luxury must have. So we are on our fifth and final piece. And so for my fifth and final piece of luxury must-haves when traveling, I'm going to be sharing with you guys luggage. Duh. How can I come in here and talk to you guys about traveling and not mention any luggage? I got y'all. So the piece that I would definitely recommend for traveling in luxury is going to be my Louis Vuitton Keep All 45. Look at her. She is a pre-loved bag. And she's also my birth year bag from 1995. If y'all seen my other video with my um, Papillon 30, she was also a birth year bag. So that was when I was on like a birth year kick. I bought these both in the same month and I was just like so head over heels for both. They both look really good. This one in particular, it came with everything but the lock and key. So it does have that little strap holder, but I just don't have it on, I don't, I don't use it. Um, but yes. Looks really good. Got it pre-loved. Definitely look at, at the pre-loved market if you guys are looking for um, luxury luggage because I got this for a really good price. And even if you don't get them as vintage as mine is, like mine is like 26 years old. If you don't get it as vintage as mine, they still have ones like from current years that are really good price, like heavily discounted and they look good. So I got y'all. Y'all look out for that. But yes, love having this piece when i'm traveling what i like to put in here is my niece bb i 
put my niece baby in here, my shoes, and then all of the handbags that I'm gonna be wearing on that trip. I put them all in here and they fit really nice. She holds exactly what I need her to hold. She looks really good on the crook of the arm and handheld. Like, you know, it's a very good comfortable strap. Of course, depending on how much you put in here, it will get heavy. But I mean, at this point, we all know that. Like, don't pack it out if you don't want it to get that heavy. But for the things that I carry, like all of my personal toiletry items go in here, shoes and bags, like, and she's still pretty comfortable. Love this piece. This also um, can fit up under your seat. So I feel if you were to get the 50, you would have to put her overhead and God knows what happens to our bags overhead. Like God forbid you open it up and something spilled out on you like a ton and mess up your machete leather. My God, I would cry. So I definitely recommend getting a 45. And then if you feel like you need more space, definitely go for the 50. Like I said, small, but she fits enough. She fits under the seat. The only con I would say is the Vachetta leather, but you know, if, if you can accept the Vachetta leather for her flawed self, then it's okay. I will show you the inside because I feel like the newer models have a pocket, but the older one does not. So she is stuffed, so it's a bunch of sweaters in here. But um, the only thing that you have in here is this D-ring, literally, that's it. So if you wanted to bring your key pouch or something else, like a keychain, and put that on there so you can easily access something that you may want to easily access in here, I recommend doing that. But that would be the only thing that you have in here is this little D-ring. No pockets on either side, just a big duffel bag that carries everything you need. So yes, that is my Louis Vuitton Keep Off 45. Love this piece. Did not get the bandolier version because she's cute and small enough to go on a crook of my arm or carry in my hand. I didn't feel like I needed the bandolier. If I were to go up to a 50, definitely. But for now, she's cute. She does what she needs to do. And definitely, I would recommend this as a piece for you guys to invest in when you are traveling. That is it for my luxury travel must-haves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use any of these items or if you feel like you can add to this list in any way. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.